Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a bombshell valentine makeup look. And this is a completely matte smoky eye with a classic pink lip. I'm going to start off prepping the skin for a night out. So I treated my under eyes with the V2 Oxygen Eye Mask, which is going to smooth and brighten my skin. I'm going to be patting the serum in underneath my eyes, which is going to help my makeup apply so much better on top. Next, I'm going to moisturize my lips. I always like to make sure my skin is properly hydrated and treated before applying my products. For primer, I'm going to be using a smoothing primer, and I'm really working that into fine lines and enlarged pores. And I'm really going to press this into my skin, which is going to help my foundation to lay so much better on top of my skin. I'm also going to prime my eyelids, and this is going to prevent my shadows from fading and creasing later on. For complexion, I'm going to start off with my foundation on a large foundation brush and I'm going to buff this into the skin. As you can see, this shade is quite a bit darker than my face, but it does match my self tan. After I buff this product in, I like to switch to a complexion sponge, which will really make sure everything looks seamless and flawless. I like complexion sponges to finish off a look because it maintains coverage, but it makes the skin look so much more healthy and natural. For concealer, I'm going to be using a shade that is lighter than my skin tone because it's going to help highlight and brighten the skin as well as conceal. So I'm adding that underneath my eyes and to the center of my skin. Then I'm going to blend everything out again using a complexion sponge. This is going to maintain coverage, but my skin's not going to look cakey or heavy. I always recommend setting your concealer with a powder. Here I'm using a translucent powder on a complexion sponge and a translucent powder is great because it's so finely milled that it'll fit into all the little fine lines and make sure your concealer doesn't crease or fade throughout the day. I'm going to warm up my skin using a warm matte bronzer. I really like to warm up the skin with a bronzer before I go in and contour because it makes it so much easier for me to blend products out later on. I'm going to be contouring with the Lorac Pro Contour Palette. So I'm taking the contour shades underneath my cheekbones and then I'm taking the highlight shades underneath my eyes. I'm also going to add the highlight shades to the center of my skin and that's going to help my whole face to look nice and polished and it just really finishes off the look with a strong intense contour. For blush, I'm using a matte blush, and this is a peachy pink color. I like using a shade that's going to show up on the skin when I do smoky eyes because I don't want my face to look washed out with such a heavy, bold eye look. This highlighter is from MAC, and it is so beautiful. It's a nice, intense, shimmery highlight that's really going to make my skin glow for a special night. I'm going to be doing pretty bold brows today because I'm doing a smoky eye. And when I do a smoky eye, I really like to make sure my bold brows will reflect that look. So I'm using a thin brow pencil now. And then after I have the desired shape, I'm going to go in and set all my little brow hairs in place using a clear brow gel. To begin this eye look, I'm going to start off using a warm transition shade. This transition shade is matte and it's the only warm shade that I'm going to be using today. Since this smoky eye is very cool tones, I wanted to use a warm color in the transition shade to make me look like I have more color to my skin. That way the smoky eye won't end up looking like I got punched in the face. I'm going to be using the cooler tone in the crease and I'm really going to be precise with this color. Make sure I really work this crease shade into my natural crease of my eyes and not into the transition shade. Take your time in defining where you want your crease to be because we're going to later on use that as a border for where we want our lid color. This lid color is a darker matte shade. And this is really going to create that smoky, intense nighttime look. So be careful with this color not to go above your crease shade. Otherwise, your eye look will look too muddy and too intense. To add more drama to this look, I'm going to be taking black on the very outer corners. Take your time to define the placement of your outer corner color because if you over blend, it'll be too muddy. I'm going to buff out the ends of this black color here and it's going to make my whole look look more polished, more defined, and more smoky. 
I'm going to take my crease color and run that underneath my lash line just to help balance everything out. That way my top lash line is not too heavy. And I'm going to go back in and add more black to the outer corners again. I really want to take my time with adding these black shades because you can always add more, but it's really hard to take away. Last but not least, I'm going to blend everything out. This blending brush is going to ensure that there's no harsh lines, everything's smooth and blended, and the key to a smoky eye is to blend, blend, blend. I'm going to highlight the brow bone and the inner corner using a matte highlight once again. This is going to polish and clean up the look. I'm going to rim the entire eye with a black eyeliner. That includes the waterline and upper lash line. And I'm going to curl my lashes with the Tarte Lash Curler. Next, I'm going to apply my mascara, and I'm applying that to my upper and lower lashes before applying my Ardell Demi Wispy False Lashes for a more dramatic nighttime look. For lips, I'm starting off with a glossy hot pink lipstick all over the lips. And then I decided to add a cooler, lighter pink to the center of my lips and pat them together. This gave me a more sexy Valentine's Day appropriate pout. For more details such as the products or tools used in this tutorial, please visit beautybymadisonkate.com and I hope you all have a beautiful Valentine's Day.